tracks today. Yeah. Yeah. I need them plans, running up fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Leaving the house the glizzy, nigga. Let's get to the sports talk. After his backup, Tony Pollard has showed out this preseason, rushing for 42 yards and a touchdown on five carries in Saturday's preseason win over the Rams. Ezekiel Elliott still holding out, but is back in Dallas after spending much of the summer training in Cabo. I'm going to start with the former Cowboy, Marcus Spears. Marcus, talk to me. Is Pollard's preseason a big deal or no big deal? Yeah, it's a big deal because you need you need that. What? You need them, Stephen. Hey, look, we're not talking about oh, Pollard man. stepping in for Zeke, obviously. We're talking about the depth right. of the running back position. When Zeke missed six games, they did it by committee. They had to go out and sign guys to Alfred Morris, i.e., to come in and try to compensate for this run game. If you can find that Tony Pollard possible. The problem with these owners, they do not want to stand people contract. When a person play good through their rookie contract and production on the field, they stop, go up. You have to pay them at the wild. You was a billionaire owner. You can't pay your star running back so he can be there and play preseason and get ready for the week one game. How is your billionaire and you cheap? Zeke shows what he does. And he deserves every money you give him. Stop trying to put people under uh, these little tags and stuff. Just pay him. What you think he was going he, um, to take a little less? He deserves it. He's a whole part of that team. He part of that system. You need him there to take the pressure off of that. You can't be cheap all the time. That was shown with these owners. They think they could pay them less. They stop going up as they play well on that field and he produced since he came in the league. They can carry you a couple weeks until you get this deal with Zeke done, then that's a huge deal for the Dallas Cowboys, especially in this preseason. The one thing Jerry alluded to was the fact that Pollard missed the block and got Dak Prescott hit. He got to pick up the pass, the pass protection responsibility. But look, when you have a roster spot that you've given to a kid and drafted, obviously it's a big deal when he goes in and has some success. He's not Zeke. That's not what I'm saying, but it's a big deal that he has success in this preseason based on this contract negotiation. Well, the reason why I reacted the way that I reacted, my brother Marcus Spears, is because it's the preseason. That's why. It's not because of Zeke Elliott. It's the damn preseason. You stop that nonsense. He shows up for a couple of series, and now we got to stop the presence. Jerry Jones is here. We're going we to be all right. Oh, please. They're just trying to dig it at Ezekiel, trying to agitate him a little bit, a negotiating point, potentially to force him to come back a bit sooner than later. Stop that nonsense. Listen, Tony Pollard can play. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to squash this opportunity. The brother had three DC. He played three years at Memphis. Okay, average more than seven yards a carry. Never rushed for more than 552 yards in a season. But that's neither here nor they there. What I'm saying is, is that the brother, the brother. That's right. They do a lot. And oh, guess what? I'm glad you brought that up, Marcus Smith. Like it's the preseason. When it's time to play in the regular season, it's a whole different animal. You can't replace Zeke because he's a big part of that team. If you want to win a championship, you need your running game and you need your star back there. Just give him the money. And it'd be over with. These owners are just cheap. They don't want to give up anything to these star players. Until they feel like it. And that's why certain players hold out. Because they feel like we produce. We deserve our money. What's so hard is to pay him. If you want to win, pay him. Because that's one thing you failed to bring out. 
Aren't the Dallas Cowboys, don't they have a new offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore? Yes. They Haven't do. they said that what they want to do is throw the ball now significantly more than they have in the past? Aren't we getting away from using Ezekiel Elliott or anybody like him as the workhorse, the bell cow, 322 yards, 322 carries rather, as a rookie, 304 carries last year in his third season? We want to get away from that. We're about to give back at least 30 million, right? We want him to fling that football. Yeah. Right? We finally got a number one in Amari Cooper, right? Oh, Mr. D- Mr. Slow is a, a, is a snail with arthritis, even though snails don't have arthritis. <laughs> and Jason Witt, he's back. He's your security blanket in short yardage situations. Randall Cobb is an upgrade let from me, Cole Beasley. So they supposed to be throwing the football more than you talking about Tony Let me jump in and teach you a little football. football. Let me jump in and teach okay. you a little please, football, please. 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 I didn't start talking. You did. I did it. You did. Positions. Positions are very important when you talk about what times of the season you're in. And in the preseason, the best read you get is figuring out who can be a runner in your backfield, who can pass protect, who can pick up protections. That is a very important portion of a running back's job in the preseason. There are some positions that are not as important when, when we start talking about the preseason. But what Tony Pollard is doing, these reps that he's getting with the possibility Ability, mm-hmm. that Zeke is not there when this thing kick off for real is a huge deal to the Dallas Cowboys. Question. Especially Question. when you... They, they got, Stephen A., you can talk about they want to throw it around the yard and Kellen Moore is going to do this and right, John right, Kittner, right, my right, guy, right. is the quarterback's coach right. and how Dak has gotten good. They Your built guy. this football team... Your they guy. built this football team to run the football. Believe that. All right. They build it well, pain. He gonna keep holding out until he get a contract extension. He wanna be in Dallas. He just want his money. He just want every cent. Because you don't know how long running backs last. Some can last a little longer, some can't. But you'll run through the ground before you get him a good contract. Once you Make that produce on that field, your stock go up every time as you produce. He produced in three years for that team. Been to Pro Bowls twice. So he deserved everything that's come to him. Because when the regular season comes, you're going to need him. A couple things here. Uh, uh, you said John Kittner's your guy. Is that what you said? That's well, that was your guy. Boy, that's your guy. John Kittner. Yeah. John Kittner? Yep. John Kittner. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. The, okay. The, All right. All right. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. John <laughs> Kittner's your guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, now, this, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that, right? Now, did you just say, didn't you just say Tony Pollard? Didn't you just bring up how he had issues with pass protection? He did. Is that clear? Did you he say did. that? He did. All right, that's number two. Now, 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 uh, hold on. Now, the offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys, we all know that they've been stout in the past, took a little step back last year, albeit to injuries. We get all of that. Are you expecting them to be good or great this year? Which one? I expect them to be great. Travis Frederick. Travis Frederick is back. You got to remember, they had an all-pro Pro Pro Bowl center that didn't play the entire season. This Cowboy football team is built for Zeke to tote the note. Stephen A., why you think we've been having all these conversations about how important Zeke is to the Cowboys? He's not in a conventional position that all other running backs are in in the NFL. That's it's because right. it's because they have created this offense for Zeke right. to be the feature and everything else feed right, off right, of right, that. I got it. I got it. I got it. We run out a little bit of time, so I just need you to work with me here. You picked the Cowboys to come out of the NFC. Is that correct? No, actually, I picked the, uh, uh yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, the East, uh, 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 out of the NFC. <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right, all right. So, in other words, so. Only way they come out the East is Z is there through all the year. It had to do with your ownership to get him there. Just get him his contract so y'all can come out the East and potentially go deep in the playoff this year. 
That's all you have to do. As long as you, as long as you ain't getting a contract, he ain't gonna be there. Look, they just said running back Pollard got trouble with protecting the quarterback. So when somebody get back there, he can't put another protect. So you gonna get that hurt because you want to be selfish and not get him a contract. What's so hard to pay him? You was a billionaire. Just give him his money. So y'all could go on for this year. I, I got you with your Super Bowl pick, and they happen to be your former team, and you happen to got a guy coming out of Memphis, Tennessee, all right, Memphis, that, 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 that's never rushed for more than 552 yards, who, by the way, has an issue with pass protection out of the backfield. in yeah, the 300 receiving yards. But, but that is why I said, uh, I, I didn't say, I didn't say he can't play, Molly. I didn't say he can't play. I know Tony Pollard can play. Please don't get me wrong. All I'm doing, I'm just pointing, I'm just connecting the dots oh, because oh, I'm talking to Marcus oh, Pierce oh, here. Oh, 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 and be the greatest world be that running back. But if he can come in and sustain until mm. Zeke Elliott gets back, that is huge for the right, Dallas right. Cowboys. No question. I'm just saying, all I'm saying is I noticed the pattern and you, you gave ain't, yourself you away when you said John Kittner's your boy. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, the, uh, only you, only you will so bring up John Kittner in an argument for the Cowboys. Only you would do that. Because if he don't come back, he going to need all these reps. Because that's a big hole in that offense. So he going to need every rep in this preseason game to get affiliated with how the line play and everything. Because if he don't come out of regular season, he going to need, probably going to need everything. To hold it down until he get that contract so he can be there. I didn't bring him up, you like, brought him up. Like Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And